In this tutorial, we're going to make procedural cheese using geometry nodes. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this tutorial. Cheers, man. All right, let's make some cheese. Select your default cube, press X, delete. Let me make sure my screencast is on. By the way, I'm using Blender 3.0 Alpha. Numpad 1 to be in front, orthographic view, shift A, mesh, and we're going to use a cylinder. Once you've got that, press uh, tab to go into edit mode, GZ1. Tab to go into object mode, and all the centers at the bottom. Press tab to go into edit mode. Press three, choose the top face. Three is for face select, numpad one. Uh, GZ minus one, holding alt, so click here, and then press S2, shift Z, and click. And there you go, we've got our basic shape. Press two for edge select, holding alt, select here, holding shift and alt and select here and press control B to bevel this to about here and then scroll up a few times to get a nice cheese like shape whatever you think is suitable in this case I'm just going to leave it on that and press tab and go into object mode right click shade smooth object data properties normals auto smooth at 30 there we go, we've got a nice big block of cheese. But we want to make this holy poly. And the way we do that is geometry nodes. So we're going to go to our geometry node editor and we're going to press new. Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. And then we just choose an angle here so you can see what's going on over here. All right, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is distribute those points using this mesh. So we go shift A, uh, point distribute connect and we're going to use poison disk over random random means anywhere which means they might overlap where a poison disk means that in this case there will be a minimum of 0 0.1 meters or in this case 0 0.2 meters apart and a maximum distance of one meters apart in this case they're less likely to be on top of each other which is quite cool and this over here seed randomizes the placing they are around that mesh so yeah, that's pretty cool. We'll just leave it on that for now. Let's move on to the next part, which is we want to randomize the size of these points. So we're going to press Shift A, Attribute, and we're going to choose Attribute Randomize and connect that in over here. And to randomize this, this attribute, you have to type in R, A, and choose Radius. And let's make the minimum 0 0.1 and the maximum 0 0.4. In fact, let's make the minimum 0 0.05 and the maximum 0 0.3. Something like that should be fine. And if you want to randomize which ones are larger than the others, you can just change the seed over here, which is pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the next stage. We need to convert these points into a volume. So we just press Shift A, Search, point to volume boom shift a and now we want to convert this volume to a mesh volume to mesh and just like that these points that were halo points that didn't really exist we turned it into a volume now we've turned it into a mesh which is awesome and let's change this to voxel amount and let's make the adaptiveness 0 0.5 which is half and let's just change a few more settings quickly. One thing I haven't done correctly here is change the radius to a, an attribute and then make sure this attribute is radius. And now it's looking a lot better. Very happy with this indeed. Cool, let's move on. All right, let's also chuck all of this on top here, like this. And let's grab all of this and just make it nice and big and open here. We'll get back to this in a second. Next thing we want to do is add a Boolean. So we press Shift A and we select in mesh Boolean. Connect this over here. And yes, leaving it on difference is correct. So that's perfectly fine. Just give, this a, give it a second to load. And now we need to connect the group input geometry into the Boolean Geometry 1. And the way we do that, sorry if it looks a little bit small, but you can kind of get the idea, is I just click over here on this green dot, pull it all the way to here. 
and that makes it look more like cheese. Awesome. Now, if you want to play with the, the thickness, I mean the size, you can just press this and it changes the size. And uh, if you want to increase the density, which you, if you like, maybe we make the density too. Let me just do that. I think you get the idea. But let's leave this on 1.5. Perhaps 1.25 is probably even better. And let's leave this on 0 0.35. And that should be a decent size to begin with. Right, so there's one more thing we can do just to tidy this up a little bit before we move on. And that we can offset the sphere along the vector a little bit better. And the sphere is obviously these meshes we've created. So the way we do that is Shift A, Search, Vector, Attribute, Vector, Math. Click on that. Give it a second to load and drop it in over here. And now we can change this from add to scale and attribute and then float. So we can have B being amount. And we can change this to normal. Just type in N and select normal. And over here, type in N and select normal. All right, it's coming together. Next thing we want to do is Shift A, Attribute, Vector Math. Give it a second to load if you've got a potato PC and connect it over here. Oh, PC keeps freezing. Uh, uh, we're going to change this to type in P and choose Position. By B, you want to press N. Now we can use the normal again, which which is over here by A and result. And by result, we can press P for the position. Now, if we look at the mesh, once this loads, it looks slightly better. And you can mess with this factor, maybe make it 0 0.1. There you go. So now you can see it does affect it a little bit. If you make it 0 0.2, it will be off almost. Let's take a look 0 0.2. Basically, this is just the offset of the spheres on this cheese reel. And I think I'm going to leave this on 0 0.05. And we can play around with this. It just gives us more control to now move these, uh, these points uh, away from the cheese to create a slightly different shape if needs be. And you kind of need both of these attributes for that to work. So just so that we know what this does, we're going to type in frame. And wait for it to load. There we go. We've got a frame and we're going to just drag it over here. And we're going to put this attribute in this frame, put this attribute in this frame. And we're going to select this frame and go to node. And let's give it a quick different color to make it any more interesting. Uh, I don't know. Let's try pink. Or oh, I guess that's purple. And now we just can label it. And essentially we just um, offset offsetting the sphere along the normal paths, the normals. Enter. Give it a second to load and that's what it does. So we know what this does here and we can just mess with this amount here to change that as we have shown. All right, this still doesn't look right. We will get there and we'll play with the density and all that jazz shortly. But let's do a few more things with other modifiers. The first thing we want to mess with is the remesh modifier. And we can maybe change this to auto smooth so it doesn't look so pixelated. And currently it's too strong. The size is 0 0.1, where it should really be like 0 0.01 or 0 0.03 should be fine for this example, as you'll see in a sec. So it's still smooth, but it tries to keep the shape that we have there now, which is great. The other thing we want is a displacement modifier. And this is just to make sure it doesn't look too round. This is just, you know, a random preference. And we're going to use clouds. And go back to our modifiers and we just change the strength to 0 0.1 and that should be enough. 
for us to move on. Now, I've never seen a cheese reel look like this. So perhaps make it even weaker. 0 0.05. It could have, like if it's a cheese reel, it could have perfect texture, but I just don't want that in this example. All right, let's, uh, let's continue. Let's also add a smooth correctness. Pay attention to these lines here. And let's increase this factor to 1. Only smooth. And there you go. Now it looks a lot smoother. And that's just my personal preference. Now that we've done that, we can go minimize all this stuff because I think we're done with it. The fun thing about this, this is mainly um, non-destructive modeling. Besides for that basic shape we kind of started out with. Right, now we can play around with the density. So let's say we make the density 5. How does it look? La, da, 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 da. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I really do appreciate that. Now this seems a bit too intense for me. So I'm going to leave it on too. Okay, it looks good enough for me. Let's change the C to 5. And if you've got a faster PC, you can speed through these seeds to see what you like. And change the seed over here to 5 as well. And even if it doesn't look as good, I'm going to leave it as is, purely because I don't want to be doing it forever. You could also say, like, I don't like the minimum size of this, so you can make increase the minimum so there's less smaller ones. That's one way to go about it, which will give an, another interesting way to get an interesting effect. But I think you get the idea. We're pretty much done now. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. We're just going to add a material to make this look more cheese-like. And I just have to wait for this to load. Oh, it's loaded before I could even pause. It's a miracle. Go to our shade editor. And let's uh, have a subsurface of yellow. Let's change to our material viewport. Subsurface 0 0.2 and let's make this cheesy. Ah, that's good enough. Numpad 1. I'm quite happy with that. Now we can just press Shift A, Mesh Plane S10. Give this a material. And for fun, let's give this a glossy material of 0 0.2. Let's choose the light source, sun, 10, change to material viewport, render settings, turn on screen space reflection, bloom, ambient occlusion. I like to have refraction turned on as well. View this through our camera lens. And there you have it. We have our perfect, well not perfect, good enough cheese. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. All right, there was something obvious that I missed, which purely because I thought it was obvious and I should never assume that I didn't explain it. Um, click on your cheese, click on geometry nodes. And now, if you want your geometry nodes to have all the procedural options to randomize the spots and locations where those things are, well, number one, let's say you're happy with the thickness and the max, you're comfortable with that, you just want to randomize the, the placement. So we can connect this over here for the placement of the holes and this over here to randomize the, um, which, the thickness of the holes, right? Connect that in there. And really, you, there's nothing else you'd probably want to play around with too much with. Maybe this, the, the offset, if you really want. I guess we could mess with that also.
And now that that's all done and connected, we can go to our group and rename this. So the first one, which is this top one, double click. Oh, we my PC slow. Once you double clicked, you can just rename this. And this one is for placement of holes. Enter. Next one, double click on this seed. And now we can say um, thickness of holes. And finally, we got uh, the displacement of the holes. So double click over here. Come on. You can do it. Like if you experience this also. <laughs> if you feel this pain. Wondering if your blender's gonna crash because you've got a potato PC. There we go. Come on. I'm just gonna name it over here. I'm gonna call this displacement of the holes. Enter. All right, and it's as simple as that. And if you wanted to, you could add all these other settings in terms of the, the increase to increase the max thickness and all that, but it's just as easy. I think you get the idea and you could just mess with this now. For example, change to a different placement of the holes and now you get a different shape. But uh, I think you get the idea. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.